Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. It's kombucha making night. Look how big my mama kombucha is. Time to make her. What I do is I went to the thrift store and I bought this tea jar. This is how you start it. And you get a bottle of kombucha, plain kombucha at the store. This is what I bought. I forget the name of it, but it's national kombucha. You buy a plain one. And what you do to start it is you make your black tea. It has to be black tea. Boil it in the pot of water. I use 10 bags in this big pot. That's what fills up the jug. And then when it cools down, it has to be completely cooled down, you stir in a cup of sugar. This is organic, unrefined sugar. You want white sugar. You do not want honey. I mean, I don't think you should even try brown sugar because you want the molasses out of it. So you make your tea. That's for after you've made your kombucha. You're going to fill that thing back up. When you have empty this out with your kombucha, and this is cooled down, you add your sweetened uh, tea to this mama. And then you cover it up to keep the bugs off of it for about 10 days. And I thought I'd show you how I make my kombucha. I'm going to put this on the little stand here. What I do is... I take, now with these kombucha jars, if you're going to reuse your jars, see I have a whole bunch of jars here that I use, and what I do, you put them in the dishwasher so they're sanitized. If you don't have a dishwasher, you need to boil your jars so they don't contain bacteria, right? So I'm going to put this on the little tripod, and then I should be able to show you guys what I'm doing here. Just like that. So you'll see that's ground up ginger because I like ginger. So I put ginger in mine. So what I do is I take one teaspoon of ginger, stick it in there, and then I take a half a cup of this. You want just, you want, so you just want just grape juice nothing else organic juice and I like grape juice some people like to put in the raspberry or the blueberry but I think grape juice is nice it offsets the the sourness the tartness and so what I do is I put a half a cup of the juice in here with the ginger and then hello this is why I get these tea jars from the thrift store because they're super handy. Beep. And then you put the lid on, and you don't want to put it in the refrigerator right away. You want to let it kind of get tangy overnight, and that will allow it to get um, kind of bubbly. You know how kombucha is bubbly? If you guys have ever had store bought kombucha, it's kind of bubbly. That's because once they set it in the jar, it actually. Um, it actually gets bubbly. It's that's the only soda my grandchildren have ever had is kombucha, homemade kombucha. It's kind of hilarious because they think it's a huge treat. And so I thought I'd show you how to make kombucha because it's a really good thing. I have to admit, I'm not a big technical person. I'm not a science person. Oh, I hear my water boiling. Um, but kombucha is actually one of the better things. It helps lots of things. And I mean, I guess when I do up this video post, I'll post some, I'll do some internet research on it. But from what I understand, it helps. It has, um, I don't know, nutrients and antibodies that your body needs. And so it helps keep your system cleared. So you can see what I'm doing. Putting all the tea baggers in there. Well, not the tea baggers, but the tea bags. So, anyways, ginger, just juice, kombucha. Makes the yummiest kombucha in the world. It's super yummy, you guys. So, I'll talk to you later. Ciao.